Thanks for logging on to House of Chappelle TV. I am Rico Chappelle, CEO of the legendary House of Chappelle. In the past 20 years, I've been traveling all over the world with my clients such as Tony Braxton, Candy Bird, Kelly Rowland, and a list of celebrities that I can't even count. And now I'm about to share the secret with you on a web series I call So Like a Pro. Each week I'll teach you a tutorial on a step-by-step -step rule of how I make anything from a fabulous evening gown to home decor and furnishings. All on a dime. This is So Like a Pro. Thanks for logging on to House of Chappelle TV. I am Rico Chappelle and you just tune in to another episode of So Like a Pro. And today, my special guest is Mr. D is it Mr. Derek J, J or Miss Derek J? What is the pants on the day? Derek J is one of the most sought after hairdressers in Atlanta, Georgia, and he's one third of Fashion Queens, um, and he had a reoccurring role on the legendary Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, okay, well today. It's just Derek J. I don't have no title today. Oh, okay. You don't yeah, have no title today. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Title so today, well, Derek is known to, for wearing his fabulous kimonos and dashikis and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to teach you how to make a chiffon kimono. Good. Because, I, well, you know, I don't know how to sew. Okay, well, this is why we're going to teach you. Like, so, like, but like literally nothing. It's, well, you know how to sew a nasty weaving. Well, that's it. But yeah, but that's by hand stitching. Uh, well, I don't know we, how to use the sewing machine. Well, we're going to use a sewing machine. Okay. We're going we gonna to make it work. Okay. So what have you been doing these days since Fashion Queens? Um, well, you know, I've been chilling, actually. Really? Uh, I, so I've been behind the scenes. So I work for TV One BET doing all their movies. Well, I met Derek J from a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. My assistant and Derek J was friends. So we was doing a hair show in Baltimore. That's when I met Derek J. He's been the, pretty much the same person since day one. And we continue to be friends and hang out. And when I asked him to do the show, he was the first one to say yes. But sis, shows. behind the scenes, I found out that I make more money behind the scenes. I make more money behind the scenes too, but it also, but it's a lot easier in front of the camera. Well, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. I feel you. So, it's... I mean, I like being in front of the camera, but I like the behind the scenes thing too, because I can keep my life, be private. I, baby, be private. being private. private. You dating anyone? Being private. What? What? Hey, I was just asking. <laughs> Because the word in the street is. No, I know, just, you know, it's always a word. <laughs> it was always a word in the street. Okay, so pretty much what I have is two yards of chiffon. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to use a pattern on this because a, chiff a kimono is just very easy breezy. It's just a big old square, and you just cut the neckline out and the, the opening for the front, and you hem and... That sounds, that doesn't sound easy. It's easy. It's easy. So I'm going well, to... I said the same thing too because, you know, I, I buy these mm -hmm. and they cost a lot of money for just a big square. Yes, it does. <laughs> they cost a lot of money and depending on the fabric, because I tell a lot of my, um, my viewers, like, you can really start a business, a great business sewing, and depending on the right girl, you could anywhere between 100 or 200 or sometimes even more depending on the fabric. You can go with a nice silk charmeuse. And, you know, charge a sister a nice little chunk of change for a kimono. So um, where you be buying your kimonos at? Because, I mean, you never came to me. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, first, Rico, first of all, don't even, let's not even do that. Girl, what? You're too busy, for one. What? What? That's one. But, no, but I like, I mean, but all my stuff is like, it's, it's extra, Gucci. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to be, yo, you thought I was just out here just buying them out in the streets? Ooh. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's up? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so Ooh yes. Yeah, okay. Just, okay. Oh, girl, you thought I was out here just. Well, I didn't know. I mean, I thought you was the Metropolitan Flea Market, you know, the West End Mall. Derek, personal taste of fashion is just not my cup of tea. I will say that because he's very androgynous. He'll wear the heels. He'll wear the kimono. That's just never my thing. But I, I, I. Recently, I started to pair kimonos up with a sneaker and some jeans, and I think that this episode right here will be like the perfect match for both of us. To make an amazing kimono, I can wear it with a pair of jean shorts, and he can wear it with a, a tutu or some hot pants or some leggings. In a pair of heels. No, no, sweetheart, darling, no. Oh, uh, okay. But it's, still, but it's still the same concept. It's just like, I looked at my kimono, but I was like, 
this literally is a square with a V cut. In the yeah, it really is. <laughs> it re it really is. It is but it cause it's got that name. Oh, it's three thousand oh. on sales for fifteen. Okay, okay. Well, still, okay. shit is still a house. No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Is. So you said you're in the market of shopping for a house. So well, yes, I'm not. Well, I actually I closed on Friday, so that's oh it. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, cute. Yes. Cool. So what we want to do? This is the hemline. Well, how do we know this is the hemline? Like, how did you determine this is gonna be the hemline? Because this is the bottom of the fabric. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we made the hemline extremely even. And so now we're going to cut like an opening for the neck in the back. So, you know, Derek, you know, you got one of them um, strong necks. <laughs> That's why I like stuff being very like, Yeah. It has to be a low. You got a strong, you got a man neck, baby. I, well, you got I, a I man. I am a man. So let, oh, let me. I have, to have, I have to have a V. So we're going to cut a little bit more opening. Yes. So you'll probably wear like, what, a 16 or Sixteen yes. and a half in neck. Okay, right, we're gonna cut. Wait, so you just gonna just start cutting? Over? Yes, we're gonna start cutting. No, it's very freehand. I'm telling you, that's about four inches <laughs> times four. That's about sixteen. Okay, and so now we're gonna take the opening. Wait, we wait. Cause you didn't even tell you just start folding stuff and just start cutting stuff. So I don't uh, even know how, well, I don't know what this fold is. I don't know what nothing is. Okay. You also you also you try to make things for real. No, but you okay. Well, you, you okay. Okay. You, okay. You, okay. You, well, you let me, me well, let me break it down. Right okay. Here, so I took two yards of fabric. Yes. And it depends on how long you want it. Since I'm so much taller than you, uh -huh. I said two yards would, would do you a due diligence. Yes. Due diligence. And I said take the two yards of fabric. So pretty much I fold the fabric. Gotcha. Um, and you this, fold it this way and fold it this way. Fold it this way, almost like a sheet here, okay, and, and boom, gotcha. oh, right, so we yeah. Have this. Exactly, and I have this, which is a uh, two yards of fabric folded. Gotcha. We cut the, the bottom, gotcha. which is gonna be the hemline, all the way around. Gotcha. And now we cut the, um, the, neckline. the neckline for the front and back. So what I'm gonna do now is cut the front opening. So that's half of this? Yes, gotcha. mm -hmm. it'll be half. And just cut it on down. And like I said, this doesn't take a special pattern or anything. Just some time and patience, honey, and some tender loving care. And so I'm going to make a little notch for so I can remember the sleeves when we do the sleeves. Mm -hmm. So I know you like yours kind of blousy. And so we're going to go down here. That's probably about um, a foot and a half. And see, I'm telling you, the hard part is done. It's time to sew. No, I think the sewing is gonna be hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll you, you, man you'll man you will manage. It's not it's not as hard as you think. Okay. Uh, it's just a little patience and that's pretty much it. So let's bring out Bertha here, the sewing machine. So if I was to really do this in my on my own, do I have to go buy a special sewing machine? I mean, this machine is only like sixty nine bucks. Oh, okay. Um because I travel with this machine. Gotcha. So like when I go on the road, when I was on the road with Tony, honey, I had this baby in a suitcase in my carry-on, gotcha. and we was in Moscow with this little thing, and and once she realized that we couldn't use their plug, and when we used their plug with the converter, it blew it out. She was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and thread it for you." Please. Do, do, do. Thread this machine. And so what we're gonna be doing is a lot of roll hemming because we're doing chiffon. We're gonna start with the neckline first. Okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the fabric once and twice, almost like a roll, mm -hmm. and we fold it over. Right there, do a little stitch, and you see how you're gonna be sewing on this line right here all the way around. Simple as that. Now, Derek, I don't want you to be taking my tricks and selling them. <laughs> First of all, I don't even know what I think about. I don't okay. think I can do this. I don't want you well, selling my shit, okay, well, okay, Derek? So, this is a trick? Uh, you know, yeah, but <laughs> hey, you know, I'm showing you in the world now. <laughs> you in the world. Okay, so here you go. And pretty much, that's your stitch all the way around. You want to try when we do half and you do half? Okay. I'll go up to the collar, the okay. neck. Yes, then I'll try. Uh huh. So you gotta keep it tight and then pull it on the other side. Yes, you, I, but I mean you're doing really. I mean you're asking great questions. Well, yeah, I, you know, cause yeah. people don't came up in here and be like, 
I'm be like, girl, can you go straight line? And so I just hold it from the front and the back and just pull it. And I p control it like this and just let it flow. I'm getting to the neckline, and when I get right here, I'm going to let you. I was hoping if I kept you talking, you would just Oh, you there. tried it. So let's, oh, let's get, uh, so you're, ne you're never seen publicly dating someone, like. No. So do you want to have kids? I am going to adopt. Oh, you're not going to have your own kids? No, hell no. no, no, no. Why not? Why from like a baby? Yes. And like raise it? No. Why not? Oh wow! So you're gonna so you're gonna get somebody grown ass kids yeah, so that know when to come in when the porch light when the uh, street lights get on. Ooh! Oh wow! Can you get like an eight year old at least so you can have them in no, few clothes? Fourteen year old. So, so the thing is, and I know this may sound bad, but this is my logic thinking. Okay, go ahead. So if they're fourteen years old, one, you can tell if they're crazy or not off the bat. That's one. <laughs> Two, if you like, okay, well, you might be a little crazy, but I can deal with you. All I got to do is four years. Like, I'm going to let you go life. But I gave you four good years over your life. But, then, but that's, that's the worst case scenario. Right. I give me a great 14 year old and then you'd be like, my child. So, what about marriage? Well, I, wanna, I would like to get married. Would you have a big old gay wedding? Um, in a perfect world, probably, but. But I probably wouldn't. I probably just go to the destination and get away. Really? Situation, yeah. I want to have a small big gay wedding, oh. if that makes any sense. Yeah, okay. Like fifty people. But but fabulous. Fabulous yeah. black tie. Yeah. You know, if you ain't walking up in there with a House of Chappelle ball gown on, <laughs> you're turned away at the door. Mm hmm I'm going to take it around and then yeah. I'm gonna let you. Um, so, let me just do the straight. I don't want. To it, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you do the. Cause it gets a little tricky. But you know, in the alternative lifestyle, dating is quite hard. So, you know what I'm saying? So the thing is, it doesn't make any sense for you to be seen out with somebody, and then like two weeks later, you're not together no more. Like, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, if you Google Derek J's boyfriend, I have pages of people that pop up. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm a, check oh, I'm a baby when you are. You saw it, I'm going to go ahead and go on my phone and <laughs> Google, Google that, honey. <laughs> Oh, wow. I had one public relationship, and, and it's funny, the one that was public, I met his ass at one of your cookouts. Oh, really? So maybe I meet somebody else at one of your cookouts. Because you be having some cute boys around I know, you. but shit, there'll be no boys for me, shit. Oh, well, okay, shit. I trying to find me one for my damn self. Where they? Where they? I can cook, I can clean, I'm domestic. Yes, honey, that house do be together, yeah, honey. I'm, very, I'm domestic, honey. I'm very, Baby, all stuff. and I cut grass and clean hedges. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. I can change the tire if I need to. Yes, baby. That back, baby. <laughs> Lift up cars. <laughs> and I got triple A. Oh, so. yes. Okay, well, go ahead okay, and so roll that. We, so. Roll that like you're going to okay. roll it and then go ahead and do your thing. Okay, so I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to roll it. Okay. Yeah, like you're going to do your thing. Yeah, I'm going to do my thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So what happened to you? Because I remember you was coming out to L.A. with me. Like, what happened? I turned well, around. My sister was well, back in the was, shop well, no, doing well, pressing then, curls. Well, no. Then I, we got fashion queens. A lot of stuff happened. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, I couldn't leave. Okay. This is, my hands are too big. To be trying to, <laughs> just, this fabric is too delicate. Okay. Well, let me. Yeah. Can you? Okay. So what you do, go back further and manipulate it. Gotcha. You, you got me? Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. Hold that. Yeah, so that so fashion queens happened, and then I couldn't be going back and forth from LA. To New York. Mm. So all that stuff happened. Okay. So now my goal is to do that by go to go be back to be in LA by the end of the year. Okay. Okay. So you stack your coins. Yes. Oh, Please okay. stack them all the way up, honey. <laughs> Don't do like I did, going in there two thousand dollar rent for an apartment that was a shoebox. I couldn't even breathe. Oh my god! But I will tell you this: I got my life in LA. How much more I got to go? Just a little oh, bit. Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> This is this dude. I'm not, I'm impatient. I, I I see. This is not a quick weed. This is not a 57 no, piece. No, I know. I'm like, what the hell? You still do them? No. Okay. Do that again. Okay. <laughs> you start from down here. <laughs> oh, start further down. Uh huh. And so once this is done, so now the next step is to roll oh, my each side, and it's a straight line. 
And it's, it's and, and then the roll is bigger. So what we do, this is a salvage. It's called the salvage edge. So it's just one roll. No, it's it's going to be two. Oh. Because it, we almost kind of what you call French seaming, mm -hmm. because we don't want the inside to look clean as well. That gotcha. you should see all that on them three thousand dollar kimonos and should you be fine, <laughs> you know. I don't, I don't, I don't look on the inside. Ooh, but you should. You've been okay. that much money, so you see what I'm doing. I'm going to do this side and you'll have you do the other oh, side. Watch, you going to go buy your sewing machine. Well, I, I want to, but I just didn't feel like I don't have the patience for this. So how was the whole Bravo? Experience? Yeah, I mean, you know, I had my Bravo experience 10 years yes. ago. And, you know, it's, it's pretty much different and grown to a whole new situation now, mm -hmm. you know. Well, you know, I mean, like I've been part of the Bravo family for a long time. Um... Before Fashion Equation, I was on Housewives. Yeah. So that, I was with Housewives for six, seven seasons. Okay. Six or seven seasons. And then, um, and then got Fashion Queens. I was with Fashion Queens for three seasons. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I liked it. I, I enjoyed it. You know, they, they fix it like a family. Okay, I do agree. So, like, okay, I was, you know, I was on Married to Medicine, and, you know, I decided not to come back to the show, just specific reasons or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, do you feel like a lot of times they use um, little black gay boys as accessories and don't try to give them their due diligence um, as far as coins? Oh, yeah. I mean, most definitely. Like, I, like, you know, the thing about it is that with those shows, you know, we add the flair, we add the, we add the spice, mm -hmm. right. all that to it. The gay life has been filtered down not only in reality television, but in the rea but in the uh, runways as well, such as situations like Pose. You know, um, you have even though a lot of the ballroom scene started in New York, but Atlanta has a lot of gay culture and a lot of individuality when it comes to fashion, and I feel like it's just slowly making its way around the world. Um, but they don't, they you don't get paid like you're supposed to. Like, right, right. You know, but then you also, but for me, I never did it for the money. Right. I, I had my own reasons behind it. Right, right, money, right. You know? So the thing is, is that you get caught up in food with the situation when you go in there because you just want to be on TV. Right, right, you right. Know, if, you have a, if you have a bigger purpose other than just want to be on TV, right. then you can make it all work for you. Because it really, literally, when Married to Medicine aired, when I was on pretty much television from the Candy Wedding Special, mm -hmm. and um, I made so much money in one month. It was Ridiculous. Yeah. I made more money in one month than most people make in a year. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think it's all about the fame, but no, it's like, for me, it's like 25% fame, but the rest money. Yeah. I got to make my coins. Okay, so we're going to get you to do this so other I'm side. <laughs> well, why, why we can't do this with fringy look? No, 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 no. That's very Western Mall. That's very yeah, Green okay. Rock. We, we, we want we you. We want to. Yeah, we want to take you to Buckhead Village. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it for yeah, you. Yes, start it. And and I'll let you finish. You're doing a good job. How was working with Bev Smith? I know. I mean, I know Bev was my mentor, so I knew. Oh. Her oh. Her. Okay. Okay. So I knew her before, but we never worked together. Okay. Um, I learned a lot from her. Okay. Um, I learned, you know, she, she's a very smart woman. Um, I figured that. Yeah. I figured. Because for her to be in a fashion world dominated by slim, skinny, white folks, mm -hmm. and for her to be curvy, boobs pushed to the ceiling, mm -hmm. not chopped with a, a head full of 32-inch weave, like she's so against the norm, I thought it was fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, she, thought it was, I thought it was yeah, absolutely no, she fabulous. Was, uh, she, she's... she's She's a smart lady, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, and I learned a lot working with her. Mm -hmm. um, and but I, I would do it again. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Oh, dope, dope, dope. Because I was like, damn, I want to be on Fashion Queens. <laughs> for all the reasons that you said, that's why Fashion Queens is not back on the air anymore. Because mm. we're, we, weren't, we didn't fit the norm of what fashion was. Fashion was. But I felt like y'all should have covered black fashion. Well, we, we, that's we went on the black network. Okay. But then we went on BT. Well, y'all wasn't on BET, but I, I mean, mean we did, we did Housewives. We, but was that fashion? Atlanta. Is that fashion? But their their demographics is they're all black brown girls. Yeah. You know, and I'm like we talked about them. We had a segment called "Give Me Wife." Oh. Yeah. Then we talked about their fashion. 
Okay. So speaking of fashion, let's talk about hair. Yes. And that's your the main thing. So out of the housewives now, like their hair, like who 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 do you feel that has had the most growth in hair and still have a long and who do you feel that has a long way to go? Um you know, they all have their moments. Moments. You know, I mean it's that's kind of a hard question because honestly all them girls running, they all they, none of them really have their own real sense of style. Mm-hmm. So they all, they all kind of follow what's happening. <laughs> um, I think that I think that Cynthia does Cynthia does the most daring. She changes. Oh God, I love it. Yeah. Um, this season, I think Candy will Candy is doing a lot better with her hair. Yeah. Um, Candy Candy um, just have to help people know yes people around her. Yes. Because I, when she had the short do, I said, look, sis, that's when I first started working right. with her. I said, you kind of get very <laughs> lesbian tees with that. Can we get a little long with some highlights? And mm-hmm. she was just like, I was looking at the old seasons and you're exactly right. And that's when she went long. Mm-hmm. But I think when she don't have um, too many yes people around her, yeah. she good. You, um, you can go ahead and finish, darling. Oh, okay. oh, that's, oh, yeah. oh yeah. you just got past that part uh, for yeah, uh-huh. um, yeah. I think, um, you know, Portia keeps it safe with the stuff that she does. Yeah, her hair was gorgeous that one reunion show when um she had on the purple that uh-huh. i think alonzo did her wig i mean i just i don't i don't really look to any of them for me personally like saying i wanted any hair trans for me personally all right yeah i definitely agree you know what the thing about it is that we all all of us had our times where we did things a little differently that people looked at us and said, why are they doing it? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure when they saw me pump up in some, in some heels and some booty shorts or something somewhere, they people had something to say about it for a certain type of way. Right. Um, but even though me and Derry J are both uh, what I would consider big names in the fashion industry, I think one of the things that set us, well, set Atlanta apart from the fashion industry is that that we are black culture down down here. And I think a lot of times from in the streets of New York, especially in New York, in uh, Paris, uh, a lot of times things are filtered down from black culture into the runway. Oh, but a lot of people don't want to give Atlanta its credit because we don't hold any big names such as the Chanel and the Balenciagas or Givenchy's. We only have smaller names or so smaller brands such as myself, Michael Knight, and uh, the other designers around the city. You know, I do feel like I think that we, I think that people got to become more than a one-trick pony. Right, right. Um, you know, if you if that's what you're gonna do, you know, you got to be able to back up everything with it. You know, right. with the skill that you're selling. Uh, I agree. And that's you know, so I agree. I can't be mad at it. They 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 tapped into something that. Fortunately for us, we didn't have Instagram back then. Yes, yes. Years, so we really had to show and prove. We couldn't, we couldn't hide and hide it. We had to really do it. Right. You know, so these girls don't really have to do much. They can just, you know, filter it out and... And, and blur it, it out. Blur it out and then people, people go for it. Right, right. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. I never looked at it that way because yeah. a lot of people ask me about you and Lawrence, and especially people out in LA, um, I said, I remember Derek, um, because you know we have mutual friends. Mm-hmm. I said, he didn't, I said, it, to me personally, he made, got more attention, and I would say make more money, mm-hmm. when he stepped on a pair of heels and mm-hmm. did the Brunner Brothers hair show. I said, Lawrence, Lawrence was in the fifth grade. Right. Um, I said, so it was just a different, situation i said but now the kids now are so gimmicky yeah that they it's, it's a whole that it's like okay give me something new right give me give me give me something new and and you know i always get the question well rico why you don't wear heels that's first of all i got bad feet okay bitch <laughs> i said so this damn bun you're trying to come up on this left foot bitch <laughs> like it's just never been my thing and i said i'm literally a boy boy like i'm a dude like even the man we situation, it was too hot. Pull that on off. I mean, but, but, but you know, on the flip side, I'm a boy boy too. I, I mean, I really, it just became a part of my life. Like, right, you know, right. Do I, do I feel like putting on heels every goddamn day? No. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, do I, and, I, and the thing about me is that I buy stuff that's comfortable. I don't, my feet don't be, I don't, I don't like my feet hurting. Right, right. <laughs> right, okay, right. see, so we hem both sides, and we're going to take where those notches are. And we're going to stitch. I'm going to show, do one side. Yes, you got it on the other side. It's like, a, it's like a quick stitch. Yeah, it's a quick stitch. So we here and do a back stitch. Wait, 
So you went back and forth? Uh-huh, by per pressing this button right here. And then you see how we outside the lines, uh -huh. outside these two lines, we stitching right here, all the way down. We're, we're almost done. Do you know how to iron? Yeah, I mean, for the most part. Okay, because we're gonna... I don't iron, but I do know how. <laughs> so you take it to the cleaner. No, I throw it in the dryer. Oh, okay. All my clothes be too tight half the time that the rivers go away. Yeah, true. So. <laughs> true. So I'm going to start you off. Yeah, well, do the back and forth thing. Okay, and yeah. I, I'm and I can take it on home from there. Oh, yo, you're going to take it home, home. You're yes. going to knock it out the park. Okay. That's called a stay stitch. The back and forth? Mm hmm. Or reverse stitch. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> that big old wide back, you need some space. <laughs> excuse me. So, yeah, I'm, ge I'm getting prepared for Halloween early this year. Because last year I, I was in China. Too. You do. Because that last uh, Princess know. Glinda costume you don't bust out of. Uh, right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've been waiting till last because I, I think I've been knowing what I want to do. And then I don't. I say I ain't going to do nothing. But I like Halloween. I love it. I love it. I remember you host my party, um, and you was magnificent. Yes. Yes, that was amazing. And then Saisha came and did me for uh, to be, what's her lady's name? Um, Ursula. Oh, that God, yes. That took about eight hours. But. Yeah. Okay. 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 I can do this part. This is oh. easy. <laughs> it was, all that flipping was not, that flipping was hard. Well, we got one more flipping to do. Oh, shit. That's the him, and him and we over. Okay. I never stopped this. I don't know. I don't know what happened. You fine. Okay. So now the last part is Hemi. This is the bottom that you that you cut. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. It's just a small row hem. The same that we did on the other uh -huh. one. Uh huh. Okay. And just follow that line, honey. Come on, Derek, you're doing good. Just like one old nasty 57 piece on <laughs> Cynthia Bailey. Man. Okay, I get that uh, little tip part. Yeah, so, I, so you just you just keep it going until I get this done. Uh-huh. That's it. And then let's go over here and steam and press. Oh. This station. That's a special iron. Yes. Actually, no. Simple iron. Um um, it's called a Teflon cover, uh, gotcha. and especially like if you have slacks and black slacks, if it won't be shiny or anything like that, this prevents all that stuff. Oh, cool. And it works good on silks and all that good stuff, so you should get that. And it's like nine bucks. So pretty much I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the seams flat in the inside. Gotcha. And you want, this makes your, your garment look expensive when yes, it, it opens is. and you see a great seam in the inside. Do, do, do. Don't keep putting no wrinkles in there. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. If you're going to do it, that's, that's not half acid. Well, you just throw yours in the dryer. <laughs> but actually, you do have to press the hem. Okay. Do you have to press it at least one time because it makes a big difference. Have you ever done Nene hair? Nene Leek's hair? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Um, when she first cut it short on season two, mm -hmm. I did that. Um, and then, then I've styled her hair, displayed her hair. Okay. I wonder why these girls don't be loyal to one person like the old girls. Well, they, not, well, they don't, they, they're not those, they're not the old girls. Okay. You know, it's a different type of girl now. Okay. You know, they well. find that people on Instagram. <laughs> That'll do it for free. Yeah. It's, okay. Well, yeah. It's a different type of, it's a different type of, it's a, loyalty is not a, a big deal in, in the glam world. Anymore. Right. And vanities. Right. They just want to do who, who going to do it next for free or right. cheaper or any of those things. So guess what, Derek? We are absolutely done. Come around here. I'm not that short. Sweet. Okay. Um, how does my individual uh, fashion sense impact my work? I think I'm very much true to myself. Um, I love volume. I love to do, but I also, the big to do, but I also love functional, I love simplicity, and I love glamour. And I think I've always been true to that since day one. Stick that arm in there. Gorgeous. I can, I can do this at home if I wanted to. 
Yes. That's nice. So I, I think you should I think you should gift me a sewing machine. Well damn. I'll give you a sewing <laughs> machine. Okay, well I can tell you how you can get a sewing <laughs> okay, machine. Okay. You can go, go to House of Chappelle TV on YouTube. Uh -huh. Click in the description box. And it's click on the link, it'll take you to the Amazon page, and sure you can just buy it for yourself. Gotcha. I, and I get 5%. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, you just witnessed um, a wonderful piece in the making with my beautiful guest, yeah, Mr. I'm Derek sure. J. I wouldn't know this was a fabric, I would have used a different shirt. But it's, okay. It, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it, it works. It works. You probably thought a new trend, honey. You know how the girls be biting <laughs> off all of us all the time. So um, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for logging to House of Chappelle TV, and I'm Rico Chappelle, and thanks for joining us for So Like a Pro. Bye.